jaws shark seems to enjoy eating people, but humans don't taste good to sharks. Shark hunting inspired by jaws led to diminished shark populations. Shark hunting inspired by jaws led to diminished shark populations. Unlike the great white in jaws, most sharks are smaller than the arm you are worried they'll eat. People tend to focus on the giant killer varieties of animals, capable of swallowing a child in one bite. And while the plankton-eating whale shark can get up to 46 feet in length, the smallest shark is actually only about 8 inches long tip to tail. As you might guess, it can't do much damage to humans. It's worth noting that, because these smaller sharks are less likely to be hunted, they are also more likely to survive. Contrary to what you see in Jaws, many sharks are incapable of harming humans. Picture that ominous shark fin slicing through the water before a bloody kill, only not so much. The vast majority of sharks are bottom feeders and don't display their fin above the water, and of the over 500 different species of shark, many of them are more interested in microorganisms and plankton than they are in big game or even fish. In fact, the biggest of all sharks, the whale shark and the basking shark, live entirely on food smaller than your smallest toe. Even if a shark does eat flesh, doesn't mean it's out to get you. 97% of sharks are actually unable to harm humans either because their mouths are not built for biting us, or because they are too small to hurt us in any significant way. Partially as a result of jaws, we kill sharks way more than they kill us. Partially as a result of Jaws, we kill sharks way more than they kill us. Jaws made shark attacks seem far more common than they actually are. Jaws made shark hunting contests sexy. Jaws made shark hunting contests sexy. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and like and comment down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.